Yo, what's good guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to beat the Helmugen train that just came out in update 1.5 in Project Slayers. So I beat it 17 times. Um, the stats that the, these two things give, it gives 50, uh, 50 max health, and this one gives 50 stamina and 25 max health. So in these next clips, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to actually beat it. Uh, the requirements for this, you're probably gonna need Warfans or Katana, or not Katana, uh, Scythe. And you're also going to need a good BDA like Ice, Swamp, um, Blood, all, all around that. So, alright, see you guys in the next clip. Alright guys, for this next part, you're going to want to have anyone who has an AoE, uh, any AoE BDA or Slayer, you're going to want to have them in the middle of the core, alright? They're going to be there purely for support, and that's the only way you're probably going to pass this, because most lanes get overwhelmed sometimes. By a lot of civilians and sometimes some of your teammates won't be able to keep up or maybe you won't even be able to keep up sometimes but yeah for this part you just want to have someone such as swamp maybe ice uh mist anything of that sort in the middle that's all right so that's basically the main part and then for your lane you just want to keep m1ing these these mobs and just keep trying to kill all of them at the same time so that's basically this is the easiest part of the whole chain and this, that's the only thing I can tell you for this. All right, guys, for this, the second part of the whole train, this is gonna be the most complicated part out of the whole thing besides the enemy clash. So for this part, I'm gonna put this up on the screen. This shows the, the targets of how, of what like, NPCs spawn and what they do um so on the second the first when you first spawn in the cart you're gonna want to have two people in the cart okay i'll put this on screen as well you're gonna have two people in the cart in the first cart and the other three people are gonna want to go to the second cart and just go kill as many NPCs as they want or, or as they can i mean i'm sorry uh and as soon as 13 NPCs or it's left at 13 NPCs in the second cart you're gonna want to go have your whole team go back you're gonna have two people in the back one person in the middle for support and two people in the front so all these targets is where the first cart like all the all the npcs target so they target the middle first and then for the second they target the top left third bottom or top right and then fourth is the top left and they don't really target the other two that much unless there's there's um there's all the other ones are dead but yeah for this this is the most complicated part you want to have really good teammates for this one this one i have failed so many times and i regret playing so many people for this but yeah if you pass this part you basically pass the whole train so try and get a good team for this and yeah that's all i could really tell you on this one all right see you guys in this next clip all right guys for the next two parts it's gonna be pretty self-explanatory all you're gonna really want to do is you're gonna want to push enmu to the front of the cart on the non-flesh monster part and just keep m1ing him using all of your abilities with your team uh this is probably the easiest part in my opinion now uh, he has pretty bad abilities in my like compared to everyone else's uh but this should be fairly easy um put these two pictures up uh the next one is the the flesh monster you just want to dash in the middle he will hit you a few times beware <laughs> and there's also civilians that attack you so when you um when you spawn inside of the flesh monster part you're gonna want to immediately dash dash like into inside of the flesh monster and just start spamming abilities but yeah this these parts are pretty self-explanatory and yeah that's all i can tell you on to the next part all right guys this next part is gonna be the enemy clash the enemy clash is the second hardest part of the whole helm train uh you're gonna want to have people who can type pretty fast you want to have maybe a mobile player mobile players have it really easy for the enemy clash all they really have to do is just touch on their screen easiest thing that they'd probably do in their life um but if you're on if you have people on pc you're gonna want to have them go to this website it's called speedtypingonline.com and it's gonna you put the mode to random once you're there and you just keep practicing and practicing and practicing until you can get it down uh but i have failed multiple times with random people who do not know how to do this but this is just my advice probably or you could go to in the second the second map uh, there's a place called WAP Training Grounds, and then you can do the push-ups and just keep doing that over and over and over to train your typing. But that's the only advice I could give you, 
and yeah that's, that's all that's all there is to it all right guys i'll see you in the next Akiza part all right guys so this last part is going to be probably the easiest part in my opinion if you have a good team if you want to lead Akiza all the way over to this wall over here and you want to just keep spamming abilities until uh until he dies but it's, that's all there really is to it sometimes you'll have teammates that just keep trying to fight him but civilians keep spawning and they, they might even die one time that's and fail the whole raid but yeah just push him into this wall keep spamming abilities and yeah you guys should pass um that's all there is to this video thank you for watching i appreciate all of you guys i got 700 views on my last video uh this video hopefully it does good but thank you guys all for watching i'm streaming daily actually at twitch.tv slash dino nugs roblox i'm doing giveaways uh i think tonight i'm probably gonna do a polar top giveaway so yeah tune in probably i do a lot of polar sets let's let's just say that i do a lot of polar sets giveaways but anyways guys thank you for watching have a good rest of your day